congratulations to you that you have completed this module. We have covered quite a number of topics which include what is engineering research, what are the ethical conducts, how to conduct the literature review, how to read the technical paper, how to produce technical writing, how to publish your research work, how to present the research work, some common knowledge related to the research and the postgraduate studies, as well as some additional notes on knowing your laboratories. The topics covered are mainly on the knowledge and the techniques commonly required by postgraduate students in order to conduct their research. It is basically an introductory and demonstrations to the postgraduate students providing an overview on conducting the research as well as the common knowledge about the research communities. Due to a wide variety in terms of the topics and the research that can be studied by the postgraduate students, these kind of modules are generally designed in a generic manner covering the general principles as an introductory to the postgraduate students. It is also very much dependent on the personal experience, which may vary greatly by different researchers, depending on their exposures as well as their upbringings. Knowledge and techniques is one thing. However, more importantly, the key drivers to your success in the postgraduate studies are your personal characteristics. This is because Doing the postgraduate studies is challenging and it is not achievable without the commitments and efforts. There will be much to learn, minimum guidance given by the supervisors as there are no lectures conducted for the postgraduate study. Your relationship with your supervisor it will be pure supervisions. You will have to conduct the postgraduate studies alone independently, proactively, and under the supervision of your supervisor, you're going to face as well as overcome all the challenges in your research study as a part of the learning process throughout the postgraduate studies. You will find that there are much to learn, much to explore, and there will be continuous learning in various aspects such as the technical, practical, environmental, as well as the community aspects. There will also be interpersonal skills that you need to deal with your supervisor, as well as the staff from the postgraduate study schools. As for those who are working in the lab, you will need to deal with the lab technicians. Some may need to deal with your colleagues within the research team or your fellow friends who are also working as a postgraduate students. Throughout your postgraduate studies, you will need to read a lot, search for information, gain knowledge and acquire skills helping you to complete your research project. And normally the source of information can be from different channels and from different peoples. This will require you to synthesize whichever that you acquired, digest it, and then translate into something meaningful to you so that you can apply those in your research studies. You are given higher degree of flexibility. There won't be close monitoring in terms of your work progress. The official one it will be submitting the progress report every half a year. This brings in the importance of your personal qualities, whether you are proactive, you are independent, you are hardworking, you have good emotional control, you have good ethical conducts, and etc. Most likely there will be times where you feel frustrated, stressed out, stuck at some place of your research, losing patience and don't know what you should do next. When this comes, 
Normally, we pay our focus on our lacking in terms of the knowledge and skills that we have forgotten also. We need to mind our personal quality facing all these problems, which is also equally important. I would say that postgraduate study is a training process, not only for the technical knowledge and skills, it is also for you to become a better person with better qualities. It is a long journey, at least two to three years. This is of course if you can complete your postgraduate study on time as a full-time student. Having the possibility of extending one to two semesters in order to have everything completed. You should take this opportunity to learn. There is no shortcut as this is a gateway for you to enter the industry later. This is especially when you intend to work in the academic industry. The knowledge and skills related to the research is utterly important. Take those opportunity to master the relevant technical knowledge and skills. When you're actually entering the industry, you have other tasks to be conducted as a part of the job scope. You might not be able to have sufficient time to fully concentrate acquiring the relevant knowledge and skills. Although you should also continuously improve yourself. For those non-native English speakers, you have one more thing that you need to rectify, which is to improve your English, both in the writings as well as in the presentations. Don't just leave it there. Never bother to improve. You know that this is not going to be sustainable in your future career life. You may be lucky for some period of time. There are good people to help you, maybe help you to proofread certain things, but you might not be able to be lucky forever. As in most of the countries, English will be the main communications mediums among the academicians and researchers. Even if you have acquired your postgraduate degree, it doesn't mean that you know everything. Yes, you are now better than you were previously, but there are always rooms for improvements. Technically, you only completed one cycle of the research study, which in futures, if you would like to work in the academic industry, you will need to carry out research study as a part of the requirement of the universities. You're going to apply for a research grant, manage a research grant, form a research team, manage the research team, as well as supervise postgraduate students to carry out the research. Whichever problem that you encounter now, it will be a good asset to you as you have experienced through the life of the postgraduate students. This will help you better in supervising your postgraduate students. You will realize that the more you gain in terms of the knowledge, the more you realize that there are still many things that you do not know. You may know a lot of things in general, but you might not be able to know everything to the advanced levels. And this is very normal. Always be humble to learn from whoever possess any knowledge and skills that you require and you should do okay in your careers. The reason that I took this video purposely stating this importance of the personal qualities it is for you to aware that the personal qualities is equally important to the knowledge and technical skills that you possess and acquire through your postgraduate studies. Take these few years of postgraduate studies, at the same time learning the knowledge and look into yourself. Continuously polish yourself to become a person of good qualities, maintain it as a lifestyle, and your success in your life will be very near. With that, good luck to you and congratulations again that you have come so far to completing these modules. It is a pleasure sharing with you at least some introductory to conducting a research 
and the rest you have to explore yourself reaching to a greater height all the best and good luck